from running to the waiting maybe any reasons for example the current process may require input output or any trap or any anything else then the process is sent for process is sent for remainder sections as long as this this is the general structure of a typical process uh, this will be asked many times in the question paper please you have to draw this diagram and you have to explain what is critical section problem okay and followed by uh, the three requirements they have asked here three requirements mutual exclusion progress bounded waiting and uh, i told you already about primitive and non-primitive so this section comes in the two ways primitive and non-primitive and now we will solve this how, how can we implement this critical section this pretty critical section can be implemented okay using two methods one is using a software based solution another is using hardware based solution the software based solution is nothing but it's also called as peterson solution so you can see in the slide peterson solution is nothing but a software based solution for implementing critical section okay so what happens in this peterson solution he has told uh, one solution to implement synchronization that uh, you need to use two variables two variables two share variables that is called, uh, one is turn second is flag what is turn turn indicates whose turn it is to enter into the into the critical session so you have to decide like who is waiting or who is whose turn is to uh, you know the next or like what is your turn fifth turn and fourth turn or first turn etc when you are standing in a queue i think you will have a turns that's turn one two three like that this turn is of type integer that indicates whose turn it is to enter into critical session and flag we use here boolean so this is to either it says to zero or a one when flag of this uh, i is equal to true it implies that the process p i is ready that means it's used to indicate flag is used to indicate what whether the process is ready to enter into the critical section or not turn is indicating whose turn and flag is indicating whether it is ready or not okay that you need to remember so when you can set if flag of i is equal to true if flag of i is equal to false means second it's not ready and you can see in the algorithm here we have a uh, the same algorithm uh, how can we implement the process pi so again the same i think i told you already the critical session remainder section and uh, uh, what we have in the in the, uh, in, the, in, the in the pdf i have shown you already if you remember that three sections critical exit and remainder sections right so that's what only i'm showing you here okay i'm showing here that's so three sections are there for a critical session do enter into critical section exit from that and if you have any remainder still you need to do then go for the remainder section so initially we have set flag of i is equal to true and turn is equal to j turn is equal to j indicates what after i j comes so as long as this while loop is true while flag of j and turn is equal to j and we allow the process i into the critical session because we are talking about process pi so allow the process into critical session execute it and once it completes what you have to set the flag of pi false that means it's not ready because it's completed already so if it is still having any uh, times to be required etc then you can set it to the remainder sections okay otherwise uh, complete the uh, come out of the while loop and uh, finish your task and this is what the solution to implement a synchronization using software based that is also called as peterson solution peterson solution uses two variables one is turn another is flag so turn indicates whose turn it is flag indicates whether the process pi is ready or not it can be set either true or false true it is ready false it is not ready okay and uh, this is what uh, the software based solution peterson's this was also asked many times in the question paper and you should write the some lines about peterson and the variables etc and followed by this algorithm okay so any doubt up to here anyone can answer me now can you hear my audibility voice anyone can anyone can answer me and i can go to the next slide anyone 
make it fast because it's only 40 minutes time i have to complete it yes sir can go to next okay fine 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 now we'll see the next solution what is the next uh, what's the thing we are discussing is solution to implement a synchronization using hardware based this is called as synchronization hardware so many systems provide hardware support for critical session also for example you can see that here the uni processors what happens could disable interrupts so it, it can disable interrupts and so that we can implement a an synchronization properly currently running code would execute without preemption and generally too inefficient on the multiprocess systems in order to provide solution for this we use uh, you know the solution for hardware that is called as using test and set lock i think i'll take a pdf again i'll come to here so that i can show you uh, this is what you can see that peterson solution is a software based look at here software based solution to the critical section they, they can ask you this way or they can directly use the word peterson solution this is a, this is a textbook which i'm showing you a pdf of textbook okay and this was explained to you just now if you remember this is a code for peterson solution and you need to explain the same three requirements again mutual exclusion progress and bounded waiting huh. so synchronization hardware you know this can implement synchronization by using locks okay that means a process before it wants to enter into critical session must acquire a lock suppose you want to enter into the room first of all you must know the key of a room same thing here if the process wants to enter into critical session the process must acquire a lock before entering into the critical section and it can release the lock back when it completes its execution or it, it can call it as exit critical section okay and we will see that in the diagram how to acquire lock first because i need to first find out a lock so that can be done by using test and set okay so this is used to test whether does it require lock or not okay and the code this year i am just showing you showing you like a test and set instruction this is used to test and set uh, first process require lock or not and set the process to true first and here we can take a test and set and we will set the target to true if it is true then only we can set the lock then shared a boolean variable lock initialized to false that we can set the lock so if test test and set uh, and lock if it is false do nothing otherwise mm -hmm. otherwise look at here this indicates enter into critical section when you can enter when you can acquire a lock okay and once you complete your task again set lock back to false then you can enter into the remainder section if you require otherwise come out of from the while loop so as long as this while is true this gets executes are you clear this is used to set the target process to true and we can acquire the lock by using test and set okay if test and set and lock if it is lock itself is a false means we cannot do nothing don't do anything otherwise what you can do that otherwise you can enter into the critical section and execute it then come i mean set the lock back to the false and if you require any remainder section to be used go go to the remainder section otherwise come out of the loop and this code you need to write the in the question paper also they mentioned very clearly write the code and explain the test and set only okay and after that you can swap the lock if you are swapping the lock swap insertion we used to swap the lock okay so from the boolean a to the b so i think swap code already we know in the ccp only we know the code of swapping uh, see here the code shared boolean variable instead to false each process has a local boolean variable key and see uh, initially we set a key to true while key is equal to true swap the lock and a key okay that means we can set the lock to the true uh and what happens when the lock is true means you can you, you you acquire the lock so when you acquire the lock i mean complete code this is not the complete code actually okay just only telling you how test and set can be used to you know 
set the process target to the true and acquiring the lock but complete code we need a swap also so this is a complete solution i think they have mentioned here this this is a complete code to explain how can we set the lock to true and acquire the lock so initially what we can set the key to the true now key is true so what we can pass as long as the key is equal to true we can pass the we can swap the uh, you know the lock to the true so once it becomes lock is true means that means you acquire the lock means you are a genuine person to enter into critical section you finish your task and come out of the loop once you come out of the loop set your lock back to the false if you are read if you want to execute in reminder put the reminder otherwise come out of the while loop so this is about the story of uh, what i can call it as hardware based solution for implementing implementing critical sessions so i discussed uh, in the beginning what is synchronization okay and i discussed about uh, what is race condition to explain the race condition i took example of producer consumer so in the producer consumer we came to know that in a some sequences we got to know that uh, s4 s5 where we got a different answers based on uh, based on that we got to know that the answers are wrong that means they need a synchronizations then what we discussed after that we discussed about critical section though to solve or to to solve the race condition we need to implement what critical section what is critical section it's a section where when a process is entered into the particular uh, you know section it is not allowed to come out until it completes the execution or other process if it is waiting for a critical section has to wait until the completion of the current process and what are the three requirements of critical section three requirements of critical sections are mutual exclusion progress bounded waiting and how does the critical section looks like it has three sections entry exit and remainder section and uh, to implement this we have uh, discussed two solutions as of now one is peterson solution that is this is called as software based solution to the critical section peterson solution peterson solution it uses two variables two variables that is turn and a flag turn indicates who is who is turn the process is to and the flag indicates whether the process is ready or not and this can be implemented with this code okay the structure that is software based solution and also we have discussed about uh, the hardware based solution using hardware based so we require what what we discussed so the process must require a lock so this i told you here it it must acquire a lock okay uh, when it completes the task then it must release the lock back so this was discussed using test and set and to get the test and set first we have to set the target to true after setting the key to the true then we have to acquire the lock by using swap conditions so all together all these three we can show you in the solution called as uh, initially we set the key to true and uh, swap the true to the lock so once the key lock becomes true means the process acquired the lock and it can enter into critical section and executes come out of the loop and lock becomes false this is about uh, um, you know the hardware based solutions i think i'll not take the next session because if i start the semaphore you'll be confused so uh, till here you just go through once again Uh, from the soft copy and try to understand what is synchronization how can we implement it okay so let me stop and i'll take uh, one door have gone